here. Excuse me? You cannot phone in here. You just walk past two signs. That say yeah, no there's phone. no law or statute on there. It's a constitutionally protected activity, no, sir. Not, we have a young lady here that insists on filming in the building. Please protect all your personal. Jobs. I'm not after anyone's Ma personal information. This isn't your business. Just go it about your day. No, it isn't. I can't get back to my day because you won't leave. First Amendment audit. Okay. I'll just tell you that. <laughs> okay. What's your first name? Um, they're trying to violate my First Amendment right, and I'm not gonna let you violate okay, my fourth. Well, well, you're causing a disturbance in this. Place. I haven't caused any disturbance, sir. Can you talk to us, yes. If he decides to cite you with disorderly conduct, we have to identify who you are. Right. So if I get charged with disorderly conduct, that's gonna be illegal because I haven't been disorderly. That's and this is a First Amendment right and a constitutionally protected activity, sir. And both you guys swore an oath to uphold the This is Radical Radio, and this is the Allentown DMV. I just got arrested at the Allentown Courthouse illegally. So you'll see that video tomorrow. And now I'm doing the DMV next. Am I crazy? Yes, I'm crazy. <laughs> Please, God, don't let me get arrested again. The use of any camera, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think so. That's not a real sign, has no law or statute. Let's try this again. Yeah. Excuse me? You cannot film in here. You just walk past two signs. Yeah, there's no law or statute on there. It's a constitutionally protected activity, sir. Yes, it is. No, this is the. DMV, our taxes this pay is for not that building. DMV, first off, this is a driver's license center. Right. Taxes and stuff don't count. If you if you refuse to stop filming, we're going to shut operations down and we'll call the police. Why? Because we don't allow filming in here because there's a lot of private documents out. There's this is a, a public personal information. That's being exchanged. I'm here. not getting anyone's and, personal information, and, sir. How do you know? Because that's um, because I know what I'm doing. <laughs> it's in the background. I'm not getting anyone's personal information, that's sir. Literally right. I'm, I'm gonna, here I'm to. I'm going to ask you one more time, but please stop filming. Are you here to have anything? And, uh, this anything? is my business, sir. Are you here to have any business conducted? Yes, this is my business. Okay, last time, please leave. Please leave? Filming. For what? If you don't leave now, this is a public right. building. Thank you, dear. Take care of this because you're really inconveniencing me as well with your shenanigans. Ladies and it's gentlemen, not shenanigans. We have, we have a young lady here that insists on filming in the building. Please protect all your personal. Problems. I'm not after anyone's personal information. I am talking. Please secure all your information so that it cannot be picked up on film. Gentlemen, ladies at the desks, you know what to do. Shut down, lock it up. Okay. Like I said, this is a private facility. It is a government-run facility. Correct. That there makes it, is... it's federal, right? No, it's not federal. Okay, it's county? If you don't know... It's the Allentown DMV, correct? No. This is a driver's license center. If you, I've done if the DMV. you don't know what it is... <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. You're obviously not well informed you're not so, well informed because you don't know the law my photography rights sir it's a first amendment protected activity you're inconveniencing Ma everybody this you isn't your business just go it about your day no it isn't i can't get back to my day because you won't leave okay. ma'am we are all here trying to get our stuff done he's stopping business not me you call me? Oh, okay Clapping. okay what they're not supposed to do this, man. The police are coming. Don't worry. What, though? I'm trying to it's called a First Amendment audit. But what are you doing in notice? We pay their salaries with our tax dollars, right. sir. We're allowed to come in and see what kind of job they do. I'm not trying to get people. I'm trying to get them. All right, but they, don't, they stop working when you come in, though. So it's not my fault that he does that, dude. That's his thing, not mine. This is a constitutionally protected activity. I'm not doing anything wrong. I'm not trying to get any personal well, you're information. Not no, you're not getting no footage or nothing, but that'll leave. 
That's what I need. People need to see this. This isn't supposed to happen. All right. So how long are you going to be, like two, three minutes? They're calling the cops. I'll talk to them when they get here. So you're going to tell them until they get here? Yep. They closed everything because they think that filming is illegal. This is insane. He's calling the police. I can't believe this. this is, I'm having the best day today. I really am. I am in a public building. The public is in here as well. I'm not doing anything wrong. It's not my fault that he's closing down business. That's insane. <laughs> Great. They just arrested me and now uh, we'll deal with that. This is crazy. Shut down everything? What? Oh, thank you. They're still doing a little bit of work over there. You wanna get some action right there, you know what I mean? All the workers left. All the workers left because of this camera. I can't believe this is happening again. Come on, dude. Being a dick to me ain't gonna make yours bigger. Does it look like I'm trying to get anyone's personal information? <laughs> Have you guys never really dealt with a person who did this before? Sir? I don't talk to felons. What's that? Like, I've done DMVs before, I've done libraries, I've done all kinds of stuff. And when the police come, they educate everyone on the law. Yeah, see, there's no law or statute attached to that, which makes it unlawful, and law enforcement can't enforce an unlawful sign. Okay, it would have to have a law or statute right here, because it's a public building. It's not a public building, it's a private building. <laughs> No, no DMV is private. They're all public. That's why there's, that's why there's people in here. That's why there's a bathroom in here. It's a public. It's no different than if I had a store. No, this is not a private sector, sir. This is the public sector. Like, do you realize I'm all the way back here? I can't zoom in to get anybody's information. <laughs> if I wanted to, I couldn't. And if I wanted to, I'd wear like secret camera my glasses or something. I'm smarter than that. I'm not here for that. I'm not disrupting business. I'm not talking loud. I'm not getting in anyone's way. I don't understand why they would close down for a camera. It makes no sense. And now all these people have to wait and they're blaming me, but I'm just standing here doing nothing. Like anything you can see from plain view, you're allowed to record. I got a question. Yeah. Since um, there's no more work being done or nothing, is there any way you can let me get my ID and then start filming again? Because like, I just want to get my ID. Like I drove mad far to get here. I know, I did happening. too. I did too. So like, you can just come back in and get- The cops filming. should be here in like one second. They so, really will. Like, aren't you worried they're gonna arrest you or something? No, because the law, like the First Amendment covers us on free press. Right. And we're allowed to take film anywhere where like our tax dollars right. pay but he was just saying something about like if anybody in here says they don't want to be filmed then right you would have to stop filming if you don't no, know there's no arrested. expectation of privacy in public oh. all right because i've seen that thing up there says no there's no filming in the place where we're yeah doing. they gotta have a law or a statute attached to that for law enforcement to be able to enforce it okay. like that sign could be it could say whites only oh okay you know what i mean um, law enforcement can't enforce it all right well i I'm sorry, it's, it's they should be here very soon. Yeah, all right. Yeah, I've never, I've done three DMVs so far and this has never happened. Way right back here, I just wanted to see the people do their job. See what kind of job they do and if they're professional, just because they're paid with our tax dollars. <sighs> and Allentown police is probably like, what? We just dealt with her. <laughs> Great. When I was arrested, the detective speaking to me said that um, the reason I couldn't film is because I might get a juror on my camera. Like, I have neither the time nor the crayons to explain this to this dude. <laughs> I feel so bad that they stopped business for all these customers. They just wanted to do my job and get in and out. Like, the idea is that we come in, 
they know the law when we leave. Like when they call the police, that's a fail. And we're hoping for a pass, so. Here they are. love these cars. I want to drive one so bad. Did you want to speak to me at all? Okay. Hopefully he's not like getting on the air. Oh, there's two of them. Ooh. Two of them. Hi. <laughs> Here comes security. I wish I was part of this conversation. <laughs> Nothing, I'm an independent journalist. I'm just gathering content for a story. Okay. And the signs that they have posted have no law or statute attached to them. So they're unlawful, law enforcement can't enforce them. Okay. I've been to D I mean I do this for a living. I've been to DMVs. I, I mean I was just at the courthouse. I was at the police department. This this is what I do. There's no expectation of privacy in public, and I'm protected by the First Amendment because I'm free press, and because this is our building that we help you know pay for their salaries with taxes and stuff. We're allowed to come in and see what kind of job they do, and that's all I'm doing. He thought I was trying to get personal information, but I'm standing all the way in the back just watching business go on. And then he made a big announcement that she's filming, everyone hide your information, and we're shutting everything down. They're not allowed to do that. They're not allowed to reserve, uh, refuse service like that. You know what I mean? They're protecting people's privacy. In I know, but I'm not after that. And they have signage up that says that you can't But the signage correct? isn't lawful. Okay. So, it has to have a so law. what is the purpose of you filming? I'm an independent journalist. I'm gathering content for a story. I do government buildings. Okay. You it's called a First Amendment audit. Okay. I'll just tell you that. <laughs> okay. What's your first name? Um, they're trying to violate my First Amendment right, and I'm not gonna let you violate okay, my fourth. Okay. Well, well, you're causing a disturbance in this. Place. I haven't caused any disturbance, sir. I'm standing in the back doing nothing. He caused a disturbance. If he just would have went about his day, everything would be fine. I'd be out of here. Okay. Well, there's an, a disturbance, and I'm investigating it. Okay. So I need your information. But I didn't disturb anything. Because disorderly conduct is against the law. I, I'm, I'm not being disorderly. And I'm investigating that currently. Okay. What is your first name? Why do I have to give you my information? I don't understand. That's a violation of my Fourth Amendment rights, certain seizure of my ID. I'm investigating a crime. I haven't committed a crime, sir. Okay, and that's for me to determine. If you're investigating, that's fine. 
but you don't need That's my name true. unless you're going to write out a report. But even then, you could just call me good citizen. I mean, you yeah. don't need to if find... What will giving you my name do for you? Can I talk? Can I speak now? Yes. If he decides to sign you with disorderly conduct, we have to identify who you are. Right. So if I get charged with disorderly conduct, that's going to be illegal because I haven't been disorderly. That's and this is a First Amendment right and a constitutionally protected activity, sir. And both you guys swore an oath to uphold the Constitution, right? They have signs up there just, saying there's no filming. There's no there's law attached, sir. Did you, did you speak to someone else who's in charge of here to ask permission to film? I don't have to ask permission to film in a building that I help pay for. Okay. This is a government building. When right, which signs, means it's a federal right and it's public. They can't ask me to leave, sir. It's they a public they, building. Their business because no, they, no, no, no. They don't know what you're doing with that film. No, they don't know who anybody in there is, doing. sir. There could that. be a murderer right there and we don't know. There could be somebody with a gun and we don't know. You're not going to let me talk either, so I'm not sure what to do. You've spoken? I'm not done yet. Go ahead. Okay, are you finished? I don't know what that means. Are you finished? <laughs> yes, sir. Okay. So they post a sign saying no Correct. Filming. But the songs are okay. not lifeful. Therefore, law enforcement can't enforce them. And I haven't been disorderly. I have it on camera and I will show you. I stand in the back, very far away. It's an iPhone 11. I can't zoom in. I can't, I couldn't even get personal information if I wanted to. And if I wanted to, I come in with a secret camera on my sunglasses. You know what I mean? I wouldn't come in, hey everybody, I'm here. Get me on camera, see what I'm doing. I'm getting everybody's private. Like, what? I'm not doing that. And I'm not just cause and I'm not causing a disturbance. I didn't speak to anyone. I wasn't loud. I didn't disturb business. I didn't get in the way of anyone. Shut down their business because you were in there filming. They chose to do that over a sign that is unlawful and cannot be enforced by law enforcement. Unless there is a law attached. And that and sign could turn, say whites only. Turn, that sign could say whites. That sign could say whites which only, sir. A disturbance, making them stop their business. I'm not causing the, the disturbance. I'm doing nothing. Have. And this is a constitutionally protected activity. Every government building has a point. I understand that everybody has a different so policy. Film, which is fine. This is so hot. I'm sorry. The heat's just getting on me. I understand, like but they can't, they we can't. Film in our lobby, but then our front door has no filming past this point. You cannot film past that point. Correct. I'm not going in any restricted areas and I'm not trying to get personal information. I am just exercising my constitutional right to film in public. And every time I do this, law enforcement comes out and educates them on the law and says this is a public building she's allowed to film. If Leonardo DiCaprio can't stop cameras, why do they think they can? Think about it. He's got million dollar lawyers. He can't stop paparazzi, right? That's what I am. <laughs> no, I don't want to get arrested. If that's what you guys feel like I'm going to do and you don't want me to go back in, I will leave under threat of arrest, sir. If I get a lawful order, I will follow it. I'm not trying to break the law. I'm not trying to get arrested. I'm not trying to do anything wrong. I don't understand why everyone's freaking out. Like, just make pretend it's a friend I brought with me. This is my boyfriend. He's watching. You know what I mean? <laughs> God. I don't know which one I want to drive more, that one or that one. I think this one. Look at all this cameras and stuff. You guys are so lucky. Do you guys have body cams or no? Oh man, please God, please God, please God, please God, don't let this end up in another arrest. I just got arrested. Please God, don't let it happen. Please God, don't let it happen. Please God, don't let it happen. Oh my God, I'm freaking out. If I get arrested again, they're gonna hold me overnight. They're gonna be really angry at me. And these are state police. I don't know what to do. Oh my gosh. 
I know all the other people who audit act out cool and whatever, but I'm scared. <laughs> all right, so I'm getting confirmation now, but this property is not owned by PennDOT. Right. It's a private property, it's leased. Okay. So since it's private property and it's not owned by PennDOT, the rules change. Operate, yes. Okay. All right. I think we've been pretty nice to you this whole time. So right. Can I have your name, first and last name, please? Why do I have to give it to you? Because I need to document it in my report that I spoke with. You can call me good citizen. No. <laughs> isn't isn't demanding we my ID? Been, we haven't been difficult with you. I don't know why you're being difficult with us for no reason. I'm difficult because I don't want to hand over my ID when I didn't. Uh, break a law and you don't have RAS, you don't have reasonable, articulable suspicion that I have am, or I'm going to commit a crime. That's the only time I have to give you ID, correct? Like you can we demand got, it, but people can say no. And I'm investigating a disorderly conduct right now. Right. So, but I wasn't disorderly. They're saying that, but they're that's lying. Your, that's your opinion. That's your we, opinion listen, too, we right? Have, we have two options. Okay. One, you can give me your name and date of birth. Right. And I can just document in my, in my report and we go about our business. Okay. Or two, I'm going to have to suspect ID you. What does that mean? Which means you're going to come with me back to my station. Yeah. Okay. Here's I don't want to get arrested. I will leave under threat of arrest. Oh, is he leaving? Okay. I just have to document right. when I talk to anybody. When there's a disturbance, when there's a sea officer, when I need to speak with someone, I document their name, their date of birth, in our system, and then I write a brief summary of what occurred. That's it. But do I have to? At this point, I'm waiting for my corporal's answer to see what we're going to oh, do. Oh, okay. That's your corporal. What are you? Like a sergeant? A trooper. A trooper? I'm just wondering where you're going to post this. Where I'm going to post it? Yeah, if I could watch it. Hmm. Are you going to tell the cops as soon as I tell you? <laughs> no, I actually support what you're doing. Really? Oh yeah, I watch it all the time. Okay. It's um, Riot Girl Radio. They're all different words. Is Riot it YouTube? YouTube, yeah. It's Riot. Right. And then G-R-R-L. Right. And then Radio. That's me. I just got arrested. I'll post that video yeah, really? tomorrow. Yeah, at Allentown Courthouse. I got it on film, thank God. And it was illegal. Oh yeah. Yep, I'm suing. Yep. Thank you. Thank you so much for supporting. That's awesome. You too. Peace. Okay, there's that state trooper over there. I guess he's on. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see what happens. Oh, he's going to drive away. <laughs> Run. And I can't even believe they don't know the law. They work for Pennsylvania State and don't know our constitutional rights when they swore an oath to uphold them? How can they do that? Oh my gosh, how much time this is taking? This is what I mean. It seems like police have way too much time on their hands. Like, I'm here with a camera, not a gun. This guy is telling everybody that it's closed. He's, re he's refusing service at the Lehigh Valley Driver's License Center. There we go. What am I supposed to do? Hopefully, hopefully the... Oh no, here he comes. Let's see. So it's happening. Are you not talking to me? Or? That's what we'll answer questions. Huh? That's what 
10 years later. Like, this is what I don't understand. Why can't they just Google it? Is public photography allowed? Yes, it is. End of story. Five hundred years later, we find out what's going on. Is that it? Okay, well thank you, stay safe. And you know what, I go back in, but I don't feel like dealing with this dude. So, he's educated on the law, that's good enough for me. I don't want to stop business anymore because this jerk off decided to stop it. Over a camera. And now he learned the law and he knows that filming in public is legal. Now I bounce. Alright guys, love you. Peace, I'm out.